All right, good evening. My name is Robin, nutritionist, and today we're going to talk about the power of produce or plant nutrition as it relates to menopause, perimenopause, and those symptoms. Lately, not lately, I've been specializing really in nutrition as it relates to women in midlife. And what I know is that those that, the more produce basically you get in your body, the better your journey will be. When it comes to menopause and hormonal balance, all of us, if you live to this age, you're going to get your share of it. And how your symptoms play out really depends on your nutrition and some other things. But today we're going to talk about your nutrition. So some can glide into this thing called menopause and others can slam into it. And my, my intention is always to share with you what I know that can support your journey. Evidence shows, and not just evidence, but I, I know this very intimately, but the better your diet is, the less symptoms you're going to have. And there are a myriad of symptoms and not just the ones that are you think of just hot flashes and you think of mood swings. There's a whole lot of symptoms that come with this journey. And I say menopause, but that's also perimenopause and then postmenopause. Sometimes people think, oh, well, my, my cycle has stopped and therefore I'm out of the woods. This hormonal imbalances continues to change. So again, when I say your nutrition is the foundation, you're going to hear from some of a group of women that we're going to talk about their journey with plants. So let me let me talk about why plants, the truth, and then the, and and then what's going on with it. This the food now is very very interesting. It's been tampered with and it's not given to us in the way that it used to be. And the hormones that are in food actually messes with the hormones that are in our body. Fruits and vegetables have nutrients in them primarily, well, I'm not saying primarily, but a lot of them help to offset the changes in our estrogen. So we have estrogen for some of us that are high and low. Some of these fruits and vegetables help to balance that out. I want you to hear me. I want you to test me out with, with some of what I'm going to tell you and just go with it. I, I want to make sure, oh, this is what I want to say, that unfortunately, Black women and Hispanic women have a harder time with menopause? Is it, is it because historically our nutrition is more challenged? That has a lot to do with it. We're going to talk about an easy way to get this produce in your body. It used to be that you could eat five pieces of produce a day. It's, you want to flood your body with as much fruits and vegetables and heavy on the vegetables, the leafy greens, really, really help with this process. So I'm gonna not keep going and beat this up. I just want you to, because I want you to hear from those that I have with me. We all have found a convenient way to get this produce in our body because it's very difficult to eat clean when it comes to the produce. And it's very difficult to get the amount in that is necessary. So I'm gonna introduce you to Adrian. And all of, I want to, Ask you your age, Adrian. Tell me your age and then where in the universe are you? I know where you are, but where what state are you in? State of confusion. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. I just I just turned 74 last month. I've been Murrieta, which is in Southern California. Okay. <clears throat> now we met maybe seven or eight years ago, and you actually introduced me to um produce in capsules and I really didn't I thought you were crazy and I because I'm a nutritionist I thought I didn't need that and I was in my early 40s 40s when I started now you have been taking this plant nutrition for how long how long have you been we say eating all this fruits and vegetables it's funny I, I started when I was 46 and I've been taking it for 20 um 28 years okay now, I'm going to just get into the nitty gritty. When it comes to menopause and your journey, how has that journey been for you? 
you know, and I don't, I, I, I did it easily. I was 55 when I finally ended minute pause. Mm -hmm. My period finally stopped. And um, I never had hot flashes. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I just, I remember I didn't, I just didn't have a lot of symptoms. So I think it's because I, I mean, I ate, I would, I'd been eating a lot of the, the fruits and vegetables in the capsule. Okay. Um, I never missed a day of it. Um, well, in and 25 I, years, you've never missed a day? No. I mean, I know that sounds silly, but I remember the one day I was thinking, I don't know, I, I think I forgot. And I went downstairs and I thought, because I was real concerned about cancer because there was cancer in my family. And I thought, chemo and radiation or a few capsules, which is easier for you. So mm -hmm. I have never missed a day. Ever. Never missed a day. So, what, um, I've, yeah. what I've been doing is surveying so many women with based on you know, what they what they eat and then how it correlates to their, their journey. I wanted to do my own research. There's tons of research out there that shows a correlation, but I wanted to know, to hear from people that I knew. So for the past 25 years, you have been flooding your body with more than 30 different pieces of raw produce, the pit, the peel and the seeds. 28, and you're 28 years, you're 74. And you would say that you glided into this journey. And I didn't do a lot of bad things. I didn't do a lot of sugar. I didn't do soda. I and mean, there are other things in my diet. But this was a really easy way for me to comply because I am not a martyr. And I'm not okay. that into a lot of the green stuff. But if I can get it in a capsule or get it in a smoothie, that's mm -hmm. what I do. And that's I do a smoothie do. almost every day too. And those that are listening, I want you to understand, because I, I did say fruits and vegetables, which is absolutely what I'm saying, plant nutrition. The more plants you get into your body, the better you will be. Also, the less sugar you put into your body, the better you will fare as well. So as much whole foods as you can get into your diet, then you will be better off. Hold that thought. I want to, I want to actually come to Debbie because Debbie, we talked and I asked you this question, but I want you to talk about your hot flashes. So you, how old are you and what part of the country are you in? I am 56. And, yep. And okay. I actually went, I didn't really go through menopause, I guess, because I had a his, partial hysterectomy mm -hmm. when I was 46. I did not start taking juice plus, which is the produce in a capsule till I was 48. Okay. And I got my first hot flash when I was 40, but I didn't really have a lot of symptoms. Um, throughout that time before I started. Um, mm -hmm. but what I did is I was, I started shredding right away. We have a shred 10 program and I started learning about nutrition. I started learning about inflammation and what certain foods do for you. And what yes. happened to me is that my, my hot flashes, I know now over the mm -hmm. years of shredding and over the years of learning and, and testing it out is that I know that, certain foods will give me hot flashes at night. I don't have them particularly during the day. I have them at night, during the night. And I know it is when I am having alcohol or sugar or dairy. And I know that at night I will be, uh, I'm going to have them. So it's just yeah. like, like over a long period of, not a long period, but probably about a couple of shreds, I learned what was going to trigger me and what wasn't going to trigger me. And when you, so when, when Debbie's saying shred, the shred is just taking 10 days where you're not eating sugar, you're not eating dairy, you're not eating processed foods. And so by doing that, which I think is very powerful, um, you're able to see, okay, wait a minute, when I'm having alcohol, then I have the triggers, hot flashes, or when I'm eating certain foods. And I, so I want you all to hear this, that Debbie, it might trigger hot flashes for her, but for some of us, others of us, it may trigger it may trigger all kinds of other things, but the point is, is when you're pulling back on those foods, or Debbie can say, it was said that when she's not eating those foods and she notices that she doesn't have those symptoms, and you were 46 when you had a hysterectomy, and even if a person has a hysterectomy, there's different, uh, but you still have your ovaries, you're still yeah. going to go through the, the hormonal changes and still go through the changes. The point is that your journey has been um, you would say, did you say it was easy? Did you say easy? I I'm looking at my notes. You yeah, said so it I, was, you sailed I, through. That was the word you said. I kind of, I, I think I did. I don't know because I really didn't have a lot of different symptoms except for 
the the hot flashes. And I did lose weight on the shred. So I've lost 10 pounds and kept it off for the last, you know, seven years. So that helps me because I know a lot of women tell me they're like, you know, how do you get rid of the midsection and I'm gaining weight and, you know, and I, I, I attribute it to the shred. The shred. And the, so the, those are, I'm just going to reiterate, when she's doing the shred, she's taking all the produce, she's removing what doesn't serve her, the sugar, the dairy, all of those foods. And then she's making sure that she's taking those capsules. Um, and with the capsules, it's literally food. It's just all the produce is put into a grinder, the water is taken out, and it's turned into a powder, and it's encapsulated. And there you go. So and I, I go ahead. I do want to say with the shred too, is that I learned certain foods that I can swap now. Like I used mm -hmm. to want certain sweets or things like that. Well, now I have, you know, some, you know, energy bites instead that are mm -hmm. sweet enough or chocolatey enough that I don't have to go to the, to the chocolate bar or to the, to the ice cream and things like that. So it helps me, um, you know, with knowing different foods that were, well, you know, substitute and swap out for certain things that I knew were going to trigger me. And I want to make this point about soy. So soy gets a little bit, people are not sure about soy. Is soy good? Is soy bad? And so soy has been shown to be beneficial for women's health, but it has to be what's called water wash soy. It can't be the processed soy that's in all these different products as a preservative. It has to be in its non-processed form. So even if you're looking at tofu, if you're looking at edamame, which are plant sources, soy helps. We, during the shred, or we take a plant-based uh, protein shake that is a, is a high quality soy base. And so a lot of us say that, okay, because we're taking that, then the symptoms are mitigated because of that, because we can, it, soy is from the plant and it is helpful for women. And so with Debbie, she is taking are, are you take are you taking the 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 plant based uh, soy every day? Yes, every day. Every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, did you know that that people that that take the complete have better outcomes? So, yes, I, I guess no. I do know that because that's what I. Yeah. So those that are taking the 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 soy every day have a better outcome with that. So there, there you go. Well, that's cool. Now I want to I want you all to meet. So Sonia is here. I'm going to bring her in last, but I want to talk to Warlicia. Um, so Warlicia is a black woman and then um, Sonia is a Latina. And what I had said to you all is that black and mm -hmm. Latinas have the harder time historically with these, with this symptoms. So Warlicia, you are how old and what part of the country are you in? I am 56 years old and I live in North Carolina. Okay. Now you have been flooding your body with this produce since you were 49. Is yes. that true? Yes. Now tell us, tell us how your, your menopause hormonal journey has been. Well, um, at 52 years old is when my cycle ended and I personally did not feel any other transition besides my cycle ending. So, oh. um, now my husband may have a little bit more to say to that, but <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't feel I didn't have hot flashes. I still don't have hot okay. flashes, and um, I didn't. I th I'm, I guess the the most thing that I would have went I have gone through is just uh, some body changes that yeah. everybody sees. Certain body you changes. I think at fifty years old, whether you going through menopause yet or not, if it, by the time you turn 50, you're going to, something's going to go awry. They so, are. You know, so, so we, those things I, I um, discovered or, or am, am feeling with, but I never had the, the, uh, the traditional menopause. I have not. And you've also been, been flooding. There is a correlation. You've been flooding your body with this produce every day since you've been 49. Since I've been 49, I've been flooding my body. And then I don't do the norm. I, I not saying that everybody <laughs> has to do what I have, what I do, but I'm not doing the norm. I do almost eight. I did go down because I had a, I had to wait for a new order. So I started doing five a day until my new order came. But I would do eight a day of each of the plant powders. And um, so I've I'm I overdo it. So yeah, I don't do. feel anything. And now I'm at a point where I'm afraid not to, because I don't okay. know what 
I'm holding back right now. Yeah, I think sometimes we get like psychologically like, oh my gosh, if I stop doing this, what's going to happen? Also, you actually introduced me. People don't like taking pills and I don't like taking pills. You don't like taking pills. And the capsules are, it's a, it looks like a pill. Um, right. It's encapsulated, but you, you introduced me to chewing them. So yes. it's those that are listening, it's it's food. The label says, if you like, if you look at the bottle, it says nutrition fat. So it's yeah. considered food. It's not considered a supplement because it is just produce. But we just put these in our mouth and chew them. Now, some people might think we're crazy, but we just chew them. It's, there's no plastic or anything on it. This one right. tastes like garlic. Um, the the veg, the fruit one tastes better, yes. but uh, but we chew it. There's something but I else mix, I, did, I mix my omegas with it, and it tastes a little bit better. Better. There's something that I didn't ask the rest of you. Do, if but what else have you noticed besides not having this menopause symptoms? But what else have you noticed in your body by taking all this produce every day? Less sugar cravings and no more migraine headaches. Less sugar cravings and no more migraine headaches. And then Debbie, for you, and then I'll come back to you. I actually have been avoiding hip replacement surgery um, for the last... I don't know, eight, eight years, I guess. I was actually researching doctors to get new hips. I was diagnosed in my 40, when I was 40 with osteoarthritis in both hips. And yeah. I had tennis elbow and I had um, carpal tunnel. I, I just had everything, but the hips were starting to bother me when I started taking Juice Plus. And once I started shredding and taking Juice Plus, symptoms went away. And it's been, you know, seven and a half, almost eight years now. And um I don't want to ever feel the pain that I had before and I haven't, and I do more now than I did back then. So now, did you know that the, the, the osteo, I think we said osteoarthritis, osteoarthritis. Yeah. And some of that could be a result of the changing hormones in the body because we need um, estrogens and certain hormones to keep our bones strong. And so that could, I don't know for sure, but that is in alignment with some of the things that happen. And the fact that you were on the route to a hip replacement and you have, you still have not had a hip replacement and they told you that you, so these are the things that I always say, because I talk this stuff every day, it's like, people don't realize, oh my gosh, like I mitigated these things because of this plant nutrition. I wish people believed me more than they do, meaning that I can say it and I can say it and I can say it. Go ahead. I wanted to say it. I have one thing, like my doctor, when, when he diagnosed me, he told me within five to 10 years, I will have to have new hips, regardless of what I did. Never told me about food, just told me to stop doing my exercising the way I was exercising and, um, but never discussed food and just told me that doesn't matter what I do. And it's been yeah. now 16 years and I have not had to have it. So. Yeah. So those that are listening, it nice. matters. And what the problem with food or the challenge with food is it's that like when you, let's say you have a drink or you eat French fries, which I love, it's not like an immediate thing. Like it doesn't just shock your body and then you fall out or anything like that. It's, it's a compound effect. And our body is building up all the things that we've been doing to it all these years. And so when we get into this menopause stage. It's like, okay, it's, remembering all the things that we've done and i i tell you that you can course correct you really can course correct with produce or alicia what else have you noticed and then sonia i'm gonna come to you but what else have you noticed by taking the produce every single day well um of course i don't always know what it is that everyone um that i would have to deal with but i'm just listening from with other folks and that is the other women that are going through menopause and that is the hot flashes and things like that. But with your estrogen level being so low, I did notice some things that you and I had talked about a while ago. Yes. That, that oh, I are you um, gonna tell us about your yes. are you gonna tell well, us? Okay. I, I will tell since it's all just ladies here. Okay. So um because of estrogen levels, I never realized or I didn't know that um you can get a vaginal um uh villain villa villa the villa vitiligo 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 that's water i think but anyway vitiligo 
And, and as everyone probably will know, it's just the the um your skin turning white. And that happened in my vaginal area. And I almost lost it because I didn't know what was going on. I thought I had a disease or something was going on. And then I just started researching. I looked it up and, you know, many women deal with that. And that's usually within their menopausal area. I mean, menopausal time because your estrogen level is low. And then that estrogen there is what, what kept the pigmentation the way that it would normally look, but then the pigmentation leaving will keep, will turn white. And so when I saw that, I just, you know, I, I didn't know what was going on, but it also came with some scarring. And so uh, that of course was, was not comfortable at all. But what I started doing is taking the omegas that we have and just opening it up or just biting a little hole in it and squeezing a whole capsule and just rubbing it in that area literally, I lied to you not, the very next day, the scarring was going, was no more uh, pain or anything. So I don't have to do it all the time every day. I did in the beginning, but now I'll periodically will just do it just to keep it from coming back. But I have not had to deal with the scarring or anything ever since I started just using it like a, a cream, topical cream and just okay. putting it on and the scarring went away. Some of, I got to just say some, some of the color, a little bit, just a very, very little bit of the color has come back a little bit, but you know, which I'm fine with now because I know what it, what the deal is. But at the time I, I, I really thought I was losing it. You know, it's the, the time frame that I put us on is unfair. So I want to keep it 30 minutes. And I want to bring Sonia on. I also want to just speak to the omega. So we take plant-based omegas and omegas are just really lubrication for your cells. And so, as you know, Marlisha was putting it on her vagina, which I call the cooch, to um, help to lubricate it. And that helps. So we can come back. But I want to, Sonia, I know that I saw you. Are you there? Sonia, Sonia, I saw you. Can you unmute? You'll see Sonia. Sonia, I see you. You're muted, She's Sonia. Muted. Let's see. Let's ask her to unmute. Um, yeah. Hello. Hi. Very good. Hi. Hi. I want to kiss your face. Hi. How are you? Oh it's my fun. God. You oh. look so good. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Tell us how old you are. Um, in all the space, I'm going to be 64. 64. And this is this is a sidebar, but you had a baby at how old? <laughs> I was five months before 49. Yeah, so when you, I I'm have like, my boy, yes, yeah, I'm like, I got and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a blessing. He's my my little miracle. Uh, actually, at River at the hospital, I, I live in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, it's called Riverside, and they they sent me. I had many many losses. I have fourteen losses before him, and one of them was a twin of his. And uh, the doctors and the nurses, they all knew me because of my losses. So they they called me the baby and the mom miracle. Wow. <laughs> he is my miracle. But after I had my baby, which was very difficult because I had a hyperimmune system, um, that's one thing that they discovered. And that's why I was killing the babies. My mm -hmm. body did not recognize the pregnancy as a pregnancy. My body thought that the pregnancy was a, a foreign object, object. So as soon as the baby started to be like uh, close to three months, that's when the placenta start exchanging hormones between the baby and the mother, um, I will attack, my system will attack the baby. So it was very heartbreaking. Uh, however, uh, God allowed that baby to be born. And he's a 15 year old now, which I adore my son. And yeah. and I, I always joke. And when I introduced him, I said, this is my grandson. I mean, my son. Oh my <laughs> and he, he was very so mad good. with me. Yeah, he gets mad with me and said, Ma, don't say that. I said, Darling, you should be my grandson. <laughs> like, you, but no one would know it. You look amazing. How long have you been flooding your body with this plant nutrition? I have been uh, floating um, for 10 years. Uh, I mean, seven years. I'm sorry, seven years. Seven years. And I'm going to tell you why I started. First of all, um, at the time, I was pre diabetic. Uh, I'm an alpha one. Alpha-1 is a person that lacks an enzyme. It's a genetic this genetic condition that does not have a cure, does not have 
an alternative. What happens is your lungs start dying because the mucosity becomes too thick. So you start losing lung capacity. Uh, when I met my friend that introduced me to Juice Plus, I was uh, already had lost 30% of my lung capacity and I was losing 15% every, more or less every eight months. So I had less than two years to live. Um, less than two years to live. And um, I met my friend in a meeting, in a business meeting, because I was trying to find friends for my husband. Because I said, I'm going to die. We need you to keep the business going. You need to be strong for the sun and all that. And then this lady who was in the business meeting, she she wanted to have a meeting with me. And when she told me fruits and vegetables, I said, you know what? That sounds fantastic. Because when my mother had cancer, they told us that she had only um, two months to live, eight weeks. And I started doing juicing and a lot of fruits and vegetables. And she actually lived for two and a half years. Wow. Uh, the problem with that is it's very difficult to keep juicing and have fresh, um, completely organic vegetables and fruits and have them at the peak of their mature and all that stuff, right? So when I found out about Juice Plus, I was like, oh my Lord, this is fantastic because I don't have to, you know, order overnight, um, I don't know, strawberries from New Jersey and cherries from Michigan. I can actually take the pill. I can break it also, which is another way to do it. You can break it and put it with with a with a whatever with a little um a blend of juice that you like whatever and and take it or chew it and I start doing it I start doing it because I wanted to prolong a little bit longer my life my condition has been in remission since it took juice plus I was for two years constantly sick. I was in oh. antibiotics constantly oh. and in uh, um, steroids. I had three three different types of inhalers plus the machine. I could not leave the house. I was in risk of getting sick with anything. And all that stopped. All those medications, all that stopped. I have an inhaler, one. And it's only if I need it, if I get asthma because uh, a little bit of asthma, whatever. But the whole situation is in remission. The doctors are amazed. I even got COVID. And what I did when I got COVID, I tripled my <laughs> my juice plus. Yeah. And I didn't have any any major side effects. I want to say, think, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I want, I want to say this, because this is important that those that are listening, we're not making medical claims. Everyone is sharing oh. their story because the power of fruits and vegetables, the power of produce, it knows what to do in your body. It goes to work at a cellular level and we, it builds us up. Everybody has a different journey and a different story. And this is a remarkable story. And I, I love I love that you are here to share it because when you said that you were given only a certain amount of time to live and now you're 64, 64 in remission and all that you did was add the produce to your, your body and you've had a good menopause journey too. <laughs> like yes. we didn't get, yeah. So. I, wanted to, I wanted to point that out too. I said, and again, I agree with you, Robin. Every person reacts differently. So I'm not trying to say, oh, this is the cure of all things, whatever. But it's a benefit on fruits and vegetables that no one can erase and can help you. My menopause, I started menopause at 55. And um, at the beginning, it was very uncomfortable. I was sweating a lot. And I started, when I was 57 is when I started with Juice Plus. I stopped having the hot flashes and I was being in a better mood. Yeah. <laughs> Which my husband loved. Right. Being in a better mood. And one thing that I noticed, and I, I know we're all ladies, but this is important that a lot of the, my friends that were going through menopause, 
they encounter a lot of dryness in the vagina area. Yeah. And they also find like a decline in, in the sexual appetite. And I think right. that the fruits and vegetables keeps you not only moist, but also gives you like a new energy. Like, you know, you feel younger and, and you feel more attracted again to be with your husband. And I mean, like I said, all skin types are different, but I don't do anything rare, anything expensive. I just take uh, olive oil, egg, stupid little moisturizer cheap. And that's what I do. And I don't have hardly too many wrinkles. So I think the balanced nutrition, it helps not only your health, but also how you feel, your mental strength, and also um, your sexual desire for your husband or for your boyfriend, <laughs> whatever whatever the situation is. But I, I want to just hold this, that the benefits that I found was, um, I stopped the hot flashes. I felt better about myself. Uh, I felt more attractive because I was not gaining as much weight as my friends were. Like uh, like Debbie was saying, I, I some of my friends were gaining a lot of weight. I mean, I'm heavy, okay, hello. I'm not a skinny lady, but <laughs> I didn't gain weight. And all my friends that were not doing the, the juice process, and a lot of them are using the, the foods and, and now they are they are all on juice plus because of that. Um, the other thing is I have been pre-diabetic for 10 years and I was supposed to be medication now because it has been so many years and as you get older and with menopause, it's supposed to, you know, get on balance. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm still pre-diabetic, not full bone diabetic. The doctor says my numbers, AC numbers are perfect. Um and I wanted to tell you one thing that I was very proud of. The last colonoscopy was last year. And the doctor told my husband and me that he was very proud. He said, whatever you're doing, keep doing, because your inside looked like 15 years younger. Wow. So ladies, take care of this and think, listen to this, because us Latinas and us Black Americans, we have a problem that sometimes doctors ignore us unfortunately. And we have to take care of our own health. We have to take like our own reins, you know, and do what is good for us. What is good nutrition, what is something that sometimes we worry so much about our children. That's great. But we also have to, this is fantastic for children, by the way. My son is in Juice Plus and they have a great program that they are free. Uh, but what I'm saying is that we have to take care of ourselves. If we want to be for our family, we have to think of us first. So amazing. I want to say this, and I'm going to, I'm going to cut the recording off in just a second, and then we're going to do what's called the after party, and people can ask questions. But um, those that are that are listening, I want you to contact the person that invited you here um, so that you can get more information. Something that is important is that if you have grandchildren or a college student, they can get Juice Plus for free. If you, as the adult, you can sponsor a child. That is something that is phenomenal. And even though it's called Juice Plus, it's not a juice. Like the name is just like a misnomer. It's just, I don't know why it's, it's encapsulated for you. But the, the point is the person that invited you here contact them. If you try to search it out on the internet, it's going to be more expensive. Um, and they do that on purpose because whatever the case may be. So you, you have to get it from the person that invited you here. And I think that that, I, look, we could talk about this for, for, there's so much that I wanted to say, but I knew that we wanted to keep it to 30 minutes. Um, thank you so much, Debbie, Adrian, Marlicia, and Sonia. I'm going to turn the recording off and we can still talk. But again, those that are listening and those that are getting the recording later, contact the person that invited you here. Also, those of you, there's so many of on you that have the, the plant powders, the fruits and vegetables, the capital, and you don't take them consistently. So I hope that this can inspire you to take them in their full dosage consistently. You've seen some of them, they're taking more than uh, the dosage. But it's powerful, but it ain't going to do you no good if you don't take it. All right, so let me turn this recording off. And...